<laughs> How much time does it take a diver to reach the water after jumping off 10 meters? Who would reach the water first? A power lifter or maybe ballerina? To test this out, I decided to bring a couple of kettlebells to the pool and jump with them from all the different heights. Watch the episode until the end to see what it feels like to jump off 10 meters holding 32 kilos weight. And who will reach the water first? All stunts are performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Don't try anything without a professional advisory. Hey, what's up, water crew? My name is Jim and as you remember, I'm a cliff diver. Today my friend Alex, a professional diver, is going to help me to answer one very important question. How much faster are you going to fly from the platform holding two huge kettlebells? By the way, comment below if you want us to catch that kettlebell underwater. Ready for some questions? Want in physics? Let's fly! To make today even more entertaining, we got an additional experiment going on. We are going to see how much faster Alex is going to drown holding the weight underwater. The weight of the kettlebell is 16 kilos and we are more than ready to start. We set up the underwater camera and Alex is ready to drown. This time with just his own weight. He is going to simply jump off the pool deck and go underwater to the point where he reached the bottom of the pool. The timer is ready. Everybody make sure to hold your breath. Let's go! And it took him about four and a half seconds to reach the bottom of the pool. For the second part of the experiment, Alex nicely agreed to tie the weight around his ankle. Alex is better not to screw things up, because I don't want to dive and get my iPhone wet in case something goes wrong. Ready to hold your breath one more time? Let's go! As you can see, the kettlebell really speeds up the drowning. By the way, the depth of the pool is 6 meters, so Alex had to put a good effort into bringing it up to the land. Please leave a comment below to cheer our hero up for doing that. Now it is finally time for our main experiment. I almost feel like this video should be shown in a science class. We are up on the 3 meter platform. Alex is about to be the first in the world diver jumping off the platform with a kettlebell. Let's see if eating the weight make any difference. Well, Alex said that he is not sure if he flew faster holding the weight. However, he got twisted in the air quite a bit. Hopefully that won't create an issue once we go up to 5 meters. By the way, we attach the floaty to the kettlebell, just so it is easier to get it out of the water after the dive. Not to take his chances on getting screwed in the air, Alex decided to add another kettlebell. Now he is going to be holding one in each hand, with a total weight of 32 kilos in addition to his body weight of 60 kilos. Although he is a professional diver, I am a little worried. He has to be very careful underwater, so the weights do not hurt him. This one looked really great. Alex said that this time it felt a lot different to dive off the platform with the weights. We are on our way to 7 meters, and this whole experiment reminds me of those insane dudes who have a lift underwater. Alex is saying he is getting a lot more anxious at this high, and I do totally agree with him. Despite that, he went for his jump like it was nothing. Ah! I have to say, the sound he made at the entry was worth a lot, guys. But what about the timing of the flight? Honestly, it is hard to estimate it from such heights. I think we will be able to tell for sure after 10 meter dive. Of course, if Alex would be down to do that. Good thing is that Alex's main event in diving is 10 meter platform. Not gonna lie, the boy got a skill. Ok, now Alex is going to do a simple straight dive of 10 meters, just so we can finally compare two dives and see if the timing of the flight would change. He even took off in the exact same way as he would do with the kettlebells to measure the time. Now it is turn for the final jump of the experiment. 10 meters, 32 additional kilos. I wish Alex the best of luck and hope that everything is going to go smoothly. <laughs> wow! The splash almost reached the 10 meter platform. Now let's compare the two jumps. Many of you might be really confused. The timing has exactly the same time for both of the dives. Wait a minute! 
just because we can disregard the air resistance in the settings of our experiment. Alex flew the same amount of the time with and without the additional weight. Simple physics here. The acceleration for both dives is the same. Therefore, the weight of the flying object, Alex in our case, does not matter at all. I've told you that we should be shown in science classes someday. Okay, what a crew. I hope you all liked today's experiment. Hope it was a little bit helpful. Please watch some other videos on water magic and please don't do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care.